All right, folks, unboxing video time. I think this is a new graphics card. At least, hopefully it is. I got three packages in today. This seems to be the heaviest one, which would make me think it's a graphics card. So let me get this out of here. And there it is. So I didn't think I would ever be interested in buying this. Check the box out of the way. Uh, but I decided to. Power Color Hellhound AMD Radeon RX 7900 XTX. This is the best uh, that currently AMD has to offer. 24 gigs. So in line with the uh, RTX 3090. And I think in a lot of things it's going to be better and some things worse probably. But, uh, you know, for the money compared to what I paid originally for the RTX 3090. This is quite a deal. So let's go ahead and check out the, the box. Nothing there. Let's, let's see what's on the back. I'll drop down a little bit so we can see that before we get this open. Ah, uh, record and stream. So, you know, a lot of the same crap you'd expect. 96 AMD RDNA, three computer units with RT and AI acceleration, 96 megabyte AMD Infinity. Cache, DisplayPort 2.1, anti-lag, PCI Express, minimum 800 watt or greater power supply. Glad I read that. I mean, you know, I have lots of power supplies. Um, we will make sure we at least put an 850 on there. Now, backplate-wise, there's dual BIOS. So it does have dual BIOS. In case somebody was going to do mining and gaming with it, we'll just be gaming with it. Some heat pipe, blade design. All right, so you guys can read the rest of that by pausing. Let's go ahead and open this up. Find a knife around here. All right, so uh, this was, you know, the cheapest. 7900 XTX that was available as you would expect from this channel, right? We're not gonna Spend sixteen hundred dollars on one of these when we can buy the cheapest one Now will this one last as long as that one good question don't know but uh, I will pair this up folks with pretty much every CPU that I have that's worth a crap, All right? Wow, look at all this stuff. So we have all these little gizmos. Don't ask me what these are. Extension rods, supports. Um, hopefully I won't be using those. But they're there. So I gotta say, this is uh, nicely packaged. I'll give them that. We can get it out of here. Is there anything else in the box? It's not a pure set, folks. I don't even see a manual in here. They just put uh, scotch tape on there to seal the bag. Which is kind of funny. Alright. So this thing is rather wide. You can see uh, three fan design. Let's back up a little bit with the camera. Three fan design. Middle fan's a little bit smaller. That's what the bottom looks like. So this is going to take up uh, three, probably three slots, two and a half slots. It's pretty, pretty damn big. Three display port, like it said, 2.1s. Um, imagine that's HDMI 2.1. So eventually we'll do some 8K gaming with this. For now, it's going to only be uh, 4K mainly. There's your dual BIOS switch. Two uh, 1x8 PCIe powers. And that's it, folks. But it is a nice looking graphics card. And I can't wait to play with it. And we'll do that a little while later. So... 
Uh, I know it's sad, but uh, we will most likely, you know, start with good old Fortnite, set up some ridiculous FPSs with it, I'm sure. Um, I'll, I'll start with the i9-13900KF, which is the best I have. Then we'll probably do two of the i9s, 12th gen ones that I have, as well as... Uh, the i5-13600KF. Thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks.